But yeah, so I... Nothing see... major should be happening. Mm, 50-50 on that. So, mm. Alaref, you've just run away from this incredibly scary cat. As from last time, oh, everyone right. is sleeping in random places. Okay, and then if I remember correctly, I returned, right? Or like once I calmed down. Um, you didn't. I don't think you got up to that. But I'm pretty sure we ended up with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the session ended once you get out of the room. Oh, yeah. okay. So I'm like at the main hall of the temple right now, just hyperventilating. Pretty much. <laughs> this cat was scary. You've seen one before. And yeah, you don't want to be near them. Oh, I see. Okay. Do I recognize that I've been uh, under influence? Uh, let's go raw Kana, please. All right. Yep. First roll. Yay! Yeah. Um, it seems to be, yeah, you feel like you're under some sort of haze that makes you want to sprint for the hills, Alarif. But you've stopped in the hall and you don't see it following you. Okay. That is not normal. It has to be related to the demon cats from earlier or a few days ago. Or a cold demon cats. Yeah, how long? How long has it been since like the start of the campaign? Is it like five days? I think it's five days. Um, five days. Yes. Yeah. How many sessions has it been? It's been it's been a couple five? sessions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a couple more days. Has it been eight sessions? It's been it's been a little. Has it been a week? It's probably nearly been a week, honestly. Yeah, nearly. We'll be moving at a fairly fast mm. pace. And yeah, um, okay. I wouldn't forget the demon cat. No. Nah. Okay. I'm gonna try to return to my room once I calm down and try not the to make. Place that has a cat. The same room that has a cat. Yeah, yeah. I want to return. Yeah, and you. Now that I know that, like, I've been influenced, there shouldn't be too much of a problem to get rid of it. Totally. You hear totally. a sort of ping <laughs> go off in your mind, Alara, from your alarm spell. Oh, okay. Someone went on near the bed, at least. Hmm. Okay, I ready a uh, sleep spell and uh, try to go and try to open the door in. Yeah, you start to go to open the door, but you quickly hear another ping as the door is swept right open, and you come face to face with. A tabaxi. And the cat is sitting on its shoulders. Oh. Okay. Uh, why, uh, hello there. Um, and I just stare at the cat. Not the tabaxi. Ooh. That's your familiar, I take it. Um, yeah, I would say it's familiar. Mm. It's a friend. Wow. Well. Familiars can be your friends. Not just familiars, it's quite smart, you know. Yes, cats do tend to be that way. Uh. Hmm. Well, in any case, I hope I did it. Um wake you somehow and uh you seems most, like i'll be your uh roommate for two days you most definitely woke me up well you woke brows and thus you woke me up uh, apologies <laughs> your cat yeah. over there just um uh, well not to say it's uh, your cat's fault but uh it reminds me of uh an incident I had earlier this week, and uh, well, apologies, anyways. Mm. And Bro just kind of turns around and gives the cat sort of a chin rub 
and the cat's still staring at you and gives a bit of a knowing look towards Brawl. I just glare at it for scaring the hell out of me. And, and yeah, then, uh, it stares back and you see the endless dark pits of its eyes as it continues to stare. Well, um, okay. I guess I should get to doing stuff. It's It happens to be the day after all, and they just kind of attempt to push past you and out the door. Oh, okay. Wait, is it, like, still night? Nighttime. No. Nope, it's no? the morning. You guys spent all night awake. Yeah, it's very okay. close night time, so we can't sleep at the time. All right, okay. But I still, like, haven't slept, right? So everyone's still sleeping, including Rory? Yeah, Rory. everyone's still sleeping. All right, so, uh, you know, once they're gone, they just open the door and go back to sleep, I guess, or try to. Yeah, you, you go back in bed, but uh, let's... Let's actually roll a d20 for you. Real quick, do you want to roll a d20, please, oh. Alaraf? Alright. Oh. And uh -oh. You, you go to take a bit of a nap, but as you start falling asleep, you see an endless pit of darkness in front of you, and it most definitely feels real. Above you is this burning sun, and around you, a burning location. You're not entirely sure where this location is, but it's dry, desolate. And as you walk, you see a cat sitting on a blackened stone, and their face turns and twists. And their eyes bulge as the grin widens. And you feel and find yourself waking up not too long later. Just immediately waking up and just like, <sighs> what a nightmare. If anything. Uh, that is, that just reinforced. It's not a normal cat, then. <laughs> no. No. No, not at all, yeah. Mm. And you probably, you're going to go back to sleep, Alaraf, or are you going to try doing something else? I'm going to try to go back to sleep, finish that long rest. That's long overdue. Yeah, you're exhausted by waking up every now and then. You just plop back down in your bed and fall back asleep. And roll another d20 for me, please. Oh, <laughs> I hope there are no cons oh, okay. yeah, consequences you're, to you're be not doing rolled. Well. And again, you are in this sort of place burning you take a couple steps around as you see this white citadel in front of you pure white and people bustling around obviously trading there's a few at a couple like locations they're selling some strange items you've never seen them before and most people are wearing like very little as it seems fairly hot, but you don't really seem that hot. And as you travel throughout the marketplace, a lone figure, which you cannot make out, stands in front of you. This cat on its shoulder. The cat leaps down in front of you and starts stalking towards you, Alarif. And again, you see the frightening grin 
as you're sent running, bustling throughout this location, and you rush through this portal, falling into pitch darkness. And you're on your side now, just, you wake up with your eyes, and you still feel quite incredibly tired. So take one level of exhaustion for me, please. And oh. you still have your long rest other than that. Oh, okay. So, disadvantage on all ability checks, right? On all rolls? Okay. All ability yeah. checks, maybe. For ability all ability checks. checks. <laughs> yeah, right. saving doesn't count. Oh, damn it. Okay. So, hmm. Yeah, I was planning to, like, try to pull on, like, uh, the telepathic bomb between, like, my familiar while within the dreamscape. So what would have happened? Um, yeah, you you wake up to your familiar just kind of darting in the slightly open window, and it just starts like, as what you can see, panicking before it sees you awake and visibly calms down. Okay, I just opened the window for it to come through. <laughs> The window was already and, open, only partially though. Ah. Uh, okay. It's open it's large enough for it to go through. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, no rest for the night, but it's a shame. Yeah, apparently no rest. Unlucky, Alarif. Hmm. But yeah. Item and Hades, you two have now woken up in your rest. Detective locations, Iden, you wake up just a little bit later than the detective and you see the detective already awake. Oh. oh. So the detective already awake or what? He's already awake and he's just he's just sitting on the bed reading whilst you start waking up. <laughs> hey, detective, do you have comprehend languages by any chance? Yeah, why? Can you read? Can you read this? I hand him over the book that I came from the necromancer school. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll give it a try. And is a quick glance. He starts just chanting, and he's like, "Give me 15. And he starts. All right. I'm gonna take a quick swim. As I open my arm, then I mean, I'll let you finish after today. Go take, uh, go take your swim. I'll, I'll be around fifteen minutes. Alright. I'll take off my armor and I cast. I need to cast detect magic. I put on the moon necklace and I take a dive in the magic pool. Yeah, and you jump into the pool. Please roll a d twenty for me, please. Mm -hmm. That's a 16. 16, and you dive into the pool with the necklace, and it's pitch black down here, and you have no idea where you're going, but in front of you, you see just sort of this ball of light, sort of as if it was leading you down a corridor. Right. Try and grab it or reach it. Yeah, you have to kind of swim forward and you eventually dart into this light and around you in the darkness of the water you see this strange place. The area around it is burning parts. You don't recognize this location and the sky is all orange with this bright burning sun in the air. And in front of you, you see a pure white citadel. And as you sort of dart forward in the vision, the location sort of moves with you. So, what are you doing? How many, how many greetings do I have left? 
I'm only playing time. Um, I have I have a plus three con. Yeah, you should be fine for now. <laughs> then I go forward. Yeah, you go deeper. I mean, you head forward, and you're going to go check out the inside of the citadel. Yes. And you enter through the door. There's two kobolds and what seems to be this sort of lizard with these dry and sort of cracked and burnt scales all along its side mostly burnt on the left hand side of its face and as you enter in you see this massive marketplace there's people moving all around several that of species that you do not recognize as you see various like merchants selling various wares and yeah, you find feel the need to sort of brush the surface as you start running out of air. Then I go up to the surface. Yeah, you you take a big gulp of air. And Hades, what are you doing? I'm still at the waterfall place, aren't I? Yep, you're still at the waterfall, just chilling, having a good time. What's the surrounding area? So you've got this shallower pool and to the right of you, off where you've kind of slept from the rocks, you've got the waterfall that leads down to the pool that you just kind of see a few people walking past. Not many are awake at this time, just one or two. And you see Aiden just coming up and dive into the pool. A little bit later he resurfaces. What about to my left? To your left you see some more rocks. It seems like there's like a stream that continues past them up this hill. But mostly trees. I'm gonna follow it. I'm gonna follow the stream? And I'm gonna follow the stream. I wanna see the source. Yeah, you start hitting up and you come up to this strange hole in the ground. And you gonna are you gonna walk forward to inspect the server? I observe the hole. Yeah, roll perception for me please. Do I? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> the juicy four. And you look around. Um, the only thing you really spot is that the water's seemingly coming out of this pit, obey, like disobeying all laws of physics. And that this pit is indeed very deep. If it's defying all walls of physics, that means it's magic. Mm. Something's afoot here. And what? Yeah. Hmm. Is there a forest nearby? There's forest everywhere. There's trees all around mm. them. About a one meter gap between the trees and the hole. I shall continue to observe a hole, trying to spot any magic around it. Yeah, roll Arcana for me, please. Uh -huh. Come on. Uh, 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 this hole is not the worst. Looks deep. And what your limited knowledge about this type of magic? You're fairly stumped to this water. It just seems like it's coming out of nowhere. It's very odd. There's probably some sort of magic affecting it, but you can't quite be certain. Yes. Mm. I 
Michelle. Just look around the forest, see if there's anything beyond the trees before they start moving. Yeah, roll perception. Come on, perception, don't fail me. Oh, I'm crying out loud. That's an old one. Well, damn that one. <laughs> you see nothing. I'm distracted by a butterfly. <laughs> yeah. You thought you see a bird. It's like this tiny little butterfly <laughs> flying by, and you see it, and you're like, oh, I'm going to go chase it into the woods for a bit. Ooh. And you start yes, wondering. Yes, <laughs> chase the butterfly. Go deep into the woods. <laughs> I want to know where they live. Yeah, you're following Great. this butterfly. They're not scared of butterflies. <laughs> and Alarif, what are you doing? Now that you've woken up from your nightmares. <laughs> do, wait, wait, do I know the location of uh, the others? Um, the yeah. You were the last person. You're following me. Oh. Yeah, I was the last one, so I was wondering. You probably know you where you are. You me to red. But did anyone see me? Is the real question. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hades just kind of wandered off and took a water. Yeah, you guys don't know where Hades is, but you do know where Rene, Aiden, and oh, and Aiden are. Uh, I'll take a peek in uh, Rene's room, see if he's still sleeping. You sleep on the roof, right? He's a little oh, peeping oh, Tom. Oh yeah, he sleeps. He's sleeping outside the wall. Somewhere. Are you sleeping against a yeah, wall? You can, falling, you, can, uh, falling kind of fall. you can go off and, and see if you can find him. Alright. Uh, I'll send uh, my raven out to see where everyone is. Because usually Rennie's on the roof. Uh, and uh, I do know Aiden's in the temple, right? Yeah, you do know Aiden's in the temple, but you don't know where Hades is. Uh, okay. I'll send the raven out. My familiar out. Roll investigation for your raven, mm. please. Wait, the raven rolls in investigation? Yep. Yeah, it's your raven's dad. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be out of range. Shane, okay. So intelligence minus four. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. going to roll d20 in minus four. Yeah. Mm. yeah the best of all is 16. That's a... <laughs> yeah, <they're four>. Minus two. <laughs> um, so... Your raven's just kind of searching around, and it darts right past another ra a raven in the air as it's searching. It doesn't notice. You kind of see this because it's just in your 60-foot uh, range, but eventually your raven goes out of the range. And it's searching for a while, and it comes back to you through the window as you had opened a little bit further to make it a bit easier for it to get in. And it just shakes its head and makes this kind of weird bird shrug. Just bringing up its wings and just uh -huh. attempting to shrug. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Good job. Uh, I'll just give it a piece of my ration as I'm eating. Yeah, I've been eating the breakfast, just presumably. Yeah, you can go to the main hall and get breakfast if you want. For breakfast being served by your one and only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and mm, afterwards, uh, yeah, I'll find. I'll, I'll try to find Aiden. Go to his room, see if it, he's still there. Yeah, I think you you probably would know where Aiden's roughly is, and you knock on the door. I guess, mm -hmm. and yeah, Libra is like, come in. He's awake? Yeah, he he's he's awake. He's just sitting on the bed just reading a book. Oh, okay. Alright, so Aiden, how's your uh well not no. night, certainly. I'm not swimming. Or have I already gone back to my room? Um, you'd probably still be out swimming, Aiden. Oh yeah. So Lara, if it's just I'm gonna sleep on where I am. <laughs> Wait, I'm very confused. It's Libra yeah, is in the room. It's yeah, Libra that's in it's the room. just Libra in the room. He's reading a book that Aiden gave him. Okay, Libra is uh, reading a book and Aiden is... Swimming. Um, you're looking Swimming. for... 
Anyone else? I'm guessing you're looking for items. I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm looking for items. Yeah, I kind of figured that. After all, you probably would have seen him come into this room. I don't know where the others are, except for the one on the roof. But, yeah, he, he said he was going out swimming. Can't imagine what he would want to do in that freezing pool. Ask me to read this. And I can't read it. Uh, oh, uh, that looks like something from the necromancer's Necromans room. Hmm. Yeah, I just used a Well, good luck translating. I just used a spell and I can't read it. And you can see he's just, he looks really annoyed as he stares at the book before just like flipping it over and he's like, Ugh, I guess we should do some investigating. And he, he seems really tired before he wanders out the room. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm similarly exhausted, so not much I can do to help. <sighs> oh, well. I'm going to go look for our resident arsonist, apparently swimming. Somehow that's um, not putting me at ease. I'll probably get head up if he looks for me. Hmm? And uh, Leaper didn't mention someone's on the roof, but my raven didn't see him. Didn't see anyone, so weird. Hmm. You coming? We should probably go collect the rest and start doing some investigating. Alrighty, I'll try to find you rest. See if they can help with our investigation. Yeah, we can go get Riri, Renee. That guy from the roof. And he just walks that out. That guy from the... Of, like, the whole other <laughs> place. And yeah, is that what you are going to say? Mm. Alright. Uh, I'll send my raven back out specifically to the roof this time, see who's up there. Yeah, roll perception for your raven. Perception. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's not an intelligence roll. Let's see. Come on. Bruh. It's a root. No. Well. How hard could it be? What's up with the bad oh rolls today? Good to summon you. <laughs> and yeah, just about spots. I mean, he's not the hardest to spot. Ever. And yeah, the raven. Don't you have the, the shield of anti stealthing or something? Yeah, he, he's just sitting on the roof. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, who is? Riri. Oh, uh, Riri, okay. Yeah. Oh, well. One down, two more to go. Uh, can I investigate? Oh, wait, no, 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 I can't do that. Uh,. Where did Libra said Aiden would be? Going out swimming where? He didn't say, he just said he was out swimming. And Libra was like right next to you, so you could ask him. But as you guys are walking, you see Rene just literally jump off the roof and he's like, Hi guys. Rene? Uh, okay, I have a job. Uh, we need your help fighting the rest of our, our crew. Apparently, everyone just wandered off for some reason. Uh, I think I saw the other two kind of go up, but yeah. Sorry guys, I'm I'm gonna head out to see how far the border reaches and see if there's anything fun I can do at the edge. And yeah, you did you guys hear that? Yep. And yeah, yep. he just starts walking away down an alleyway. Libra was just kind of looking at you, Alarif, and he's like. That was odd. Why would he want to check out the border? I already know what it does. I think I'm going to go ask him. And you see Libra will just start walking off trying to follow Rennie. And as if now, you probably see me coming up of the pool, drenching wet. Oh, 
as I see Elias, I'm all head over to Elias. I'm half naked. Oh, hi, Elias. Aiden, you know, didn't expect, would have thought you'd be playing with fire. Then, the opposite. What did you do? I just saw a vision. I saw a vision. I saw a citadel. I saw a marketplace it's filled with weird people. Weird oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, the same. I'm gonna wear my armor as I walk in to my back to my room and wear my armor. <laughs> uh, I just follow him in this company, I guess. Uh, funny thing. Uh, well, it's not exactly a vision, but uh, I was thinking it was a dreamscape. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it was during uh when I was trying to sleep. A bit tired right now. Didn't get any because of that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have some eye bags in your eyes. Well, uh, is that so? Yeah, in any case, what are we going to do about the vision? Do you know where Hades is? Nah, he'll come back around eventually. I'm going to ask the priest about it, the high priest. About the vision? Maybe he can help. Or, yeah, about the vision. Mm, that sounds like a good idea. Those folks, so... Uh, we need their help. Let's go. All right, after I finish wearing my armor, I'm going to find the high priest, the one that's on the middle of the stone last night. Yeah, you you look around for a little bit and you don't find him. But there's a couple people just still awake, but pretty much everyone's asleep at this point. Wait. Everyone's still asleep? Whoa, whoa, what time is it? I thought it's like in the morning. Yeah, it's already. in the morning. Oh, okay. Hmm. There should be an acolyte somewhere around here that could point us to him. Uh, Can I find someone? Huh? Who look, looks official-ish? Official um, you see this human who's wearing one of these sort of garments. The ones that you're wearing, Iden Hades. And they're just sort of standing around. Excuse me. Excuse me, human. Do you know where the high priest is? Uh, um, what on earth are you talking about? You know the guy that in the middle of the stone that's do the speeches last time, not the detective from yesterday's festival. Um, what is the official title for 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 that person? I know it's probably not a high priest. <laughs> Um, wouldn't know. You you would have to ask someone else who's, yeah. And he just kind of awkwardly moves over, over to the nearest door way and exits. I don't know about you, but he looks suspicious. Indeed, but I can't tell. Well. Maybe send your Rowan or Raven. Yeah, I'll, uh, uh, I'll send a raven to uh, shadow from above. Roll stealth, please, and then roll perception. For your raven. Wait, so I roll perception? Yep, roll, roll... Roll, first roll stealth, then roll perception. Alright. Stealth is Thank dexterity, you. right? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. okay. And perception, perception, another one. Oh man, yeah, this like stuff is good. you start following this person as like a raven, you're just kind of are you keeping an eye for its eyes and letting Aiden guide you? Yeah, around? yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aiden, can you cast guidance on me? I'll need, I'm not exactly proficient in. Interpreting sure. uh, Raven's sense. I guess guidance on Alaris. Alright. Yeah. And do remember you cannot see or hear during this. And you, you're looking around, you're feel, um, being fairly stealthy as your little Raven, and you're trying to keep track of this person, but they go around a corner, and suddenly you don't see them. 
you only really see an elf who's just standing by the side of the street aimlessly. An elf that stands by the street aimlessly. Huh. Yeah. They're wearing the same okay. same sort of robe. Yeah. Wearing Is that the same robe. human that's not magical that I saw back in the ritual? The non magic human? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, human? sorry. Mm. Um, you mean the human? Yeah, because back in the last session, I spot a few people that's that have no magic on them. That's not magical. Is that one of them? Yeah, he seems to be one of those people. You don't remember seeing a weapon on him. Okay, so obviously yeah. just either he just disguised himself that quickly or that's a different person. You know, I saw a couple of not magic people do, yesterday. Do he might be one of them. Do keep in mind that a large majority of magic does not work in this field. Some do, like Iden's Guidance, but not all magic works in this field. You guys kind of remember Libra was saying something similar. With magic, but there is still full damage. So yeah, what is it about magic being? Not all magic Some is, work. is works in this field. You just kind of remember Libra just talking about it aimlessly. It slipped your attention a little while ago, but you you kind of remember that as you're watching this unfold. And possibly all non-nature based self-harm, I guess? If you harm yourself, that's not nature's fault, then you won't get harmed. Like, if you, if you cut yourself, you won't get cut. Mm, yeah. But let's, like that. let's head back over to Hades. Hades, what are you doing chasing this butterfly around? <laughs> I was chasing a butterfly deep into the woods, seeing where it will take me. And yeah, it flutters around, and yeah, you're just like aimlessly wandering for quite a while. You're probably over the other side of the barrier. And you see this clearing. It's fairly mossy. There's plenty of water around. So, yeah, it seems like it would probably get fairly good growth here. And you see this dwarf who's got the small pipe and he's like, and he's playing it beautifully and you see this butterfly land on the very tip of his pipe as he continues to play it's a little purple butterfly as well with pretty pretty wings i immediately turn to him and i engage in a battle a music battle yeah, you... I shall, I shall pull out my bagpipes and start playing my tunes. Yeah, and you see him, like, he's, he's playing, you're playing, he hasn't acknowledged your presence. I shall, I shall play my bagpipes, and I say it in harmony to his food. Yeah. Still has not noticed. Does not matter. We shall play our tunes. Yeah, Rob Perception, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. okay. I swear to God. <laughs> why you? <laughs> Everything else is fine. But why the fuck do you mess up? Can I get guidance with my perception? <laughs> Huh? What was that? Sorry. Yeah. Can I get guidance with my perception? Um, no. Okay. I wouldn't think so. Ooh, never mind. It's a 21. Oh, man. And Aiden, 
you're just kind of, you're not paying, uh, Alaric is still just busy keeping an eye on his raven, so he's all deafened, he can't see, and you're sitting there trying, helping him out, just guiding him, and you hear this strange concophony of music, it sort of dances on your ear, and part of the, one of the songs you don't really recognise from any songs you've really heard before, but the bagpipes are fairly recognisable as you sit there listening and you're like, hmm, wonder who that could be. Hmm. I knock at the letter's head. He can still feel, right? He can see yep, and, he can still feel. and hear, but he can still feel. Yeah, so I knock at his head. Yep, I snap back into reality, and uh, yes, you heard that. Yeah, what is it? There's our resident monk. Who's, there's also strange music that I don't recognize. Sounds like yeah, not many bagpipes in this part of the region. That's probably our monk. Let's head over there. Yeah, let's go. Go. And Rennie's still. Uh, we we know where he is, right? Um, he, 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 he left, and Libra was following him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so he's taking that car off. Yeah, let's let's go get these. Yeah, and you're walking for quite a bit. He's on, like, sort of the opposite diagonal to where you guys were. And Rob perception both of you again. And I guess, you know what, with it? Guidance? No, this is just a random thing. Uh, you wouldn't have it prepared. That's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I probably don't even... Excuse me, what? Another three. What the hell? I keep rolling so bad. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> and it's disadvantaged, oh. so I have to roll again. And it's still a six. Okay. <laughs> Man, <laughs> but oh, no. That's a plenty more me. So what do I see? You got. Aiden. You don't actually God. see this, but you guys are walking past, and you hear a intriguing conversation. Aiden. The gods are asking for their help. Oh, that's that actually stopped. I wasn't actually expecting that stop. The gods yeah. are asking for their help, and I'm. Uh, and I'm stuck between what to do. And then you hear, like, this sort of muffled reply. Oh, you. Uh, sorry for your incursion. Uh, I'm simply admiring the birds. Shoo. And it's a strange conversation. And you swear you know this voice. Mm. And you see this black raven dart off into the air, out away from the town. Is both of the voice come from Viri? Or, is, or is, there, is it two different voices? There was one muffled voice. You weren't able to make out who it was. And of, you think, yeah, one could be Viri. I nudge at Alaris. Alaris, I think I heard really somewhere, and he's talking to someone, something about a god asking for help. Send your raven in. I don't want to disturb that conversation yet. Well, it's probably Libra that he's talking to, but uh, it doesn't hurt. I don't to think so. I hmm? don't think it's Libra that he's talking to. It's a bit muffled, but I don't think it's him. Well, if you say so. Well, Send your raven in, and I'll, and I'll go in ethereal form. As I go right. to the ethereal form and walk to the, well, walk in the direction of the voice. Yeah, you... Yeah, I'll, I'll send a raven towards the direction of... Yeah, and... Yeah. Alaraf, you, you kind of see Riri and Cloaked Figure just kind of at odds as you watch the raven dart off. And Aiden, you see 
when Rene, he kind of turns away and starts hardly heading off between the houses as the other cloaked figure just kind of stands there watching him. Yeah, what did I see? Huh? What was that? What did I see? Sorry. Who turned back and go to the houses? Um, you got Rary, oh. he's just chilling there, there, and then he just walks away as he finishes the conversation hurriedly as the raven darts off and you see a cloaked figure who was probably the one who was talking to him just stand there I will, watching him as he goes while in the ethereal plane i would like to look directly at the cloaked figure's face yeah and it is most definitely liberua but he's cool yeah he's He's put on his cloak for some reason. Do I see anyone else? No, no one else. You saw the raven head off. You saw Rary there and Libra. Wait, is what what form does Libra take? You can't quite tell. Is it bumpkin? So it's a different one. Or is yeah, it just like that he, he was <laughs> acting as Batkin earlier when he was in his main robes, but he's wearing his cloak now, and you see that his face is most definitely the one of Lieberon, but not Batkin. Yeah. Where is this lady heading to? Very, he's, he's just heading off quite far. Towards the barrier now, like he said he was going to do. Right. I'll head back to Alaris and reappear. Well, it is Libra, but he's cloaked for some reason. It's not even in his disguise. Well, I mean, I see it seems you're just a little bit paranoid. It's fine, it's just Libra. And uh could be many reasons why he's cloaked. We can just ask him. Which sure. we should do right now, might as well. I mean sure. Let's go then. Yeah, well we... let's go. So uh, we'll confront them. <clears throat> yeah, you guys go around the corner and come face to face to Libra, who is, he's, well, I would say face to face, but it's mostly the back of the head to you guys, and he just kind of stands there, looking in the opposite direction from the entrance you guys have just come in from. You okay? Uh, That's Libra. Okay. What were you doing? Sorry, I missed it. Are you okay? Um. Maybe. Maybe. And why is that? Um. Is have you noticed anything? Odd about your companion. Which one? Um, just one of them. I mean, I don't know them long enough to know Are the you? difference. But hey, this does have a multiple personality disorder. It would seem. <laughs> um, not, not, not that one. What are you trying to imply here? But he seems to believe in reincarnation. Mm. <sighs> As for the others, is it their normal? Somewhat? I wish reincarnation was a thing. You just kind of hear him kind of mutter before he starts walking off. That seems odd, Oh, wait, so he just started walking off? Yeah, he's just started walking off. 
And you guys, <coughs> Rob Perception. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, my luck has dried. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 9, 11. And yours hasn't come. Yeah. Mm. And you guys get a fright as a hand is placed on both of your shoulders at once. And you see Libra come up behind you and he's like, oh, I lost him. So Wait, you on that one. Who did we just talk to? I thought, like, I thought we just talked to you, Libra. Wait, Wait, what? Oh, it's a different, uh, a different one. Yeah. No. Aren't you wearing a cloak? Yeah. What is he wearing a cloak? Right no, now? this one isn't wearing a cloak. Aren't you wearing a cloak? Um, That's where you take off your clothes. I just saw you head over that direction. And Are you sure that we see you? But the strangest look ever. He's like, well, there's nothing else for us to do here. I already did a lot of investigating, and it's probably time we should leave. I insight check him to see if he's off in any way. Roll insight. Um, I, I want to. <laughs> and I guess guidance on myself while doing it. Oh, let me see. As he's doing uh, it, I'm going to Arcana check to see if he's all oh, under influence. That's uh, 25. Yeah, and you're going to do an Arcana check? Yeah, 25, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, and whilst you're making that, let's actually hop over to Hades. What are you busy doing? Has the dwarf stopped playing his music? Nah, he, he, he's paying no attention to you whatsoever. Well, I shall lean on him, see if he can handle my weight. And you see him immediately look at you with some stone dead eyes, and he drops his flute, and he immediately dashes towards you quite fast and tries to completely punch you but he doesn't move like he moves but he doesn't but the strange thing is he what? takes out this grappling hook and instead of moving normally he takes his grappling hook out shoots it towards a tree hooks it on and takes a flying punch at you and misses and now he's just kind of standing sideways on a tree looking at you I also look at him, just blinking, wondering what happened. This session is dank. <laughs> it's, it's trippy as fuck. How <laughs> thick? Yeah. How thick is a tree? Um, it's a fairly Ooh. wide tree. He chose one, which is fairly easy to stand on sideways. Well, not how easy. Ooh, how easy is it to unroot the tree? Um, Jesus. a 25 on a strength check would do. It's not an easy tree to uproot. It's fairly big. Damn it. Just roll 25, man. How hard can it be? Mm. How hard can it be? <laughs> Just roll 20. It's pretty easy. Is it literally impossible? Uh, no, because my, 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 well, my modifier is plus four. So it's literally oh. impossible, even, even yeah. if I get nat 20. Hmm. hmm. Unless you had Aiden nearby, then it wouldn't be impossible. How, how tall is he from the ground? Um, he's fairly short, he's a dwarf. Yeah. And he's probably up... Just burn the tree. 0. 0.75 meters. He's just chilling. As he stares at you. 0.7. Hold on. Burn the tree. Burn the tree. Well, Are you counting that in feet or something? Um, well, I'm just questioning if a dwarf thought this through. Mm -hmm. Hades is eight foot. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh. I did that on purpose. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, just for just for maths, I then, think yeah. I can grab him. <laughs> yeah, eight foot is two hundred and forty three centimeters. I, I'm just, just going to grab his head. Like no, just just grab his head. Just just pull him off. <laughs> just hold uh, him there. Like hello. Yeah, roll strength, please. <laughs> He's just an introvert, man. He's a fucking below. dwarf, man. Just to beat me, I'm gonna be pissed. He's just an introvert, man. Leave him alone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, he's got this grappling hook. Can't let you grab him by the head. But I, he's just like I, under, I underestimated him. As you hold on to his head and you're just like trying to yank him off this tree, he's still just chilling on there sideways and he's staring at you. Of stone dead eyes. I shall attempt once more to rip him off that fucking tree. But first... Not he, to grab him, to throw him off. <laughs> but first he is going to go past you and he's going to grapple to high up into another tree and you see him just completely disappear How high? the trees. Right at the top this time. He's now in a fairly good position to get up there. How tall are the trees? Uh, fairly tall. Like, some of them are short, but you got some of the pines, which go quite high. Give me the height. Um, <laughs> Give me the height. <laughs> 20, maybe 25, 30 feet. A big tree. What? Yeah, that's good it. thing. I'm like, the liar who's naturally good at climbing. Time? I'm going to climb a fucking tree and find that dwarf. <laughs> Real acrobatics. He's literally harassing the dwarf right now. <laughs> He's gonna fail again. <laughs> I mean, uh, barely makes what it. happens, DM? You start <laughs> hitting up this tree. And since it's half movement for climbing, you see this dwarf literally start swinging to the next one. And by the time you're up this tree, he's already like 30, 40 feet away with his grass. <laughs> you did. Son of a bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm jumping down. I'm hunting him. He cannot hide. Yeah. He's just demon hate right now. David's versus Molly, yeah, basically. Roll <laughs> perception, Hades. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, before I do this, let me let me give a prayer. You lost him immediately. <laughs> oh wait, yes, this is the a prayer problem. doesn't work. I knew it. <laughs> and the prayer doesn't work. God hates you. But fuck you, God. <laughs> when yeah. I die, I'm gonna see your ass. You're walking forward and you're looking up in the trees for this dwarf and you just completely... You're just searching around. Can't find him. No clue where Now he'll be failing for harassment. And you come out of the trees by this time. And... Yeah, you hear some interesting conversation from sort of the village just be uh, just below you. You're mostly on a ledge. And Aiden and Alarif, you guys have are uh, basically just checking him. And Aiden, you think he's really acting yes. strange, just a bit nervous, honestly. Though he's trying, yeah, he's acting like he's trying to put on a confident facade. And I can't remember what it's called, but I can't check because it's not showing. And Alaris, yeah, no magic. Yeah. Absolutely no magic. Unfortunately, you don't see any magic whatsoever. Okay. Um, Are you all right? You seem nervous. You asking me that? I'm asking no, I, the Libra. I, uh, I think we should go. Why is that? You seem to be nervous. We were on Ever something. Since that necromancer's tomb has been uneasy. 
and yeah, this this Libra is like, um, I I I would I wouldn't know, but I should say we should hit off. You're not giving us a reason here. Oh, a perception check the area to see if someone's looks looking at us. What was that? Sorry. I'll perception check the the area to see if anyone is spying at us. Yeah, Rob, or perception. Looking please. at us with guidance. Oh, is it ten plus my uh, plus eleven? Um, you don't notice that the music has faded, but pretty much no one is awake. Does oh, my oh, yeah. does my raven see where the cloaked figures like what? Because uh, the raven's like on to, like up on bird's eye view, so it should be able to see everything around. Yeah, you see this cloaked figure continue out, and this time they're more going back into the direction of the church, and they seem like they're looking around for things. Mary. All right, Libra, you're awesome. coming with us. Where? Uh, what's happening? You already? Um, what was that? She's trying to say. But oh, you said something about Rini. Yeah, Rini's just gone back over to the the border where he said he was going to check out. And do you see Hades heading down out of the woods? Oh. Seems like he just found us. Hades is pissed. So I just see the Goliath just stomping towards us. Mm. Yes. Seems like. Oh, did you forget your mail for something, Goliath? Okay. Hmm? Did you forget your milk or something, go ahead? What are you implying here? Nothing. Uh huh. So, so. Hmm. Anyway, Libra, who said? Um, what? Oh, um, what did you just say? Sorry, I, I was stuck in my own thoughts. You seem off. Like, really off. Offer than usual. I'm just a bit nervous about something I saw. But no matter, we, 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 we could continue if you guys want to. And you see him just kind of looking around out of the corner of his eyes. I'll send my raven, uh, my raven to uh, follow the cloaked figure and... Yeah. And yeah, are, are you trying to, roll is it trying to stay hidden? Yes. I mean, it's a raven. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a raven. Who looks up? <laughs> no one. <laughs> too, who looks up? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's easily staying hidden following the cloaked figure. And. Alright, as I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you just follow him. Okay, uh, and as it's doing that, look, Libra, Libra, you need to tell us what the problem is so we can help. You can't just withhold information like that in an investigation like this. And uh, do I have to roll persuasion or not? It's just a, a habit from my town. Inside check. Yeah, roll inside. Like, roll inside. And I'm casting guidance also. That's a 15 plus, plus 3, so 18. 18. And yeah, he can t you're just keeping an eye on him. He's, he's still incredibly nervous. And he's like, uh, yeah. Um, <sighs> It's just my hometown of Kiran, and yeah. 
What about your home turf? It's not a sentence, Libra. There is not a sentence. No, but we we should really get off. No, look, there is there was another lookalike of yours, and unless you have a, w, a, a, a body double running around, we should probably investigate that. Uh, pro probably, but yeah. Um, which way did they go? All right, uh, I'll take a quick peek through my raven and uh, point it towards that direction of the guy, of the cloak figure. Well, so let's go. I guess we can go. Get your head together, Libra. Come on, you're the experienced wizard here. Yeah. And he just trials at the back of yeah. the group. <laughs> I drag him. Like, by, like, the uh, the shoulder. Yeah, you I'm gonna follow you through the... Go ahead. Yeah, and on the way you see Hades, who just comes down. I assume you're gonna come down to the town, Hades? What? Yeah, you remember where you were behind the houses where you just came out from the woods? You gonna yep. head down? Yeah, why not? Yeah, you, I yell to Hades. You see him. Hmm? You, Hades, you oh. see them and you hear Alara just go yelling out. Before Hades, I head to the town, before I head to the town, I'm gonna whisper to Alara, I'll follow you in the Israel plane, and I disappeared to Israel belt before heading to the town. And okay. is anyone keeping an eye on Libero at this point? Yeah, He's holding I mean, him, I'm right? holding him by the shoulder, so, <laughs> yeah. He seems unaffected by Aiden disappearing. Compared to hmm. the last time. But yeah, well, you... uh, I, I'll help you. Oh, what? But yeah, you guys can continue throughout the town. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what are you guys doing as you follow the cloaked figure? Uh, I'll ask Hades uh, where he was for the last, no, well, since the morning. Chasing a ridiculous dwarf. Huh. Uh, well, given that there is no dwarves here, I take it you failed them spectacularly. Don't rub it in my face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, in any case, uh, can you keep an eye on this guy? I know you monks are all very perceptive, so I probably won't be able to. Uh, uh, Libra seems really off, and I just say this like right next to, not even trying to be discreet. Well. Well, if it's an obvious, monks are known for hospitality, so come on, give him here. I just I, I, I can, let I can go, can Libra. Do, I, can, I can follow you guys myself. Uh, if you say so, you okay to walk up to the nope. trail behind us? Nope, too late. Hades, <laughs> Hades has already picked him up and threw him over his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> strange there because he did say that he was good at escaping things. He's like, put me down please. Nope. Come on please. I pr 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 prefer to be able to move. Well, then beg. I think he meant to say please. Please. <laughs> Don't worry, I I shall let you go once I hear you beg. What? 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 Um, fine. Hades is just go. purely laughing his ass off. Please let me go, kind sir. Kind? How generous of you. 
he still does not let him go. And you can see him. Not a very pious monk, aren't you? He's not enjoying the situation. Good, good thing I'm not a monk. Mm. What are you? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, what the hell are you? And you guys finally. But. Oh, yep. Yeah. Round the corner, and you catch up to the cloaked figure who's directly in front of you. See, send this hit now. I just <laughs> yell, uh, yell out to him. Stop. I gotta stop now. Well, hello, guys. Wait a second. What? Uh, I'm not even gonna ask. Why is there two of me? Funny. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. And Hades, yeah. roll dexterity, please. Oh, no. Dexterity? Yep. Well, fuck you. That's my only high wall. <laughs> and you're you're holding on to this wriggling Libra. And the other Libra was like, what on earth have you guys caught here? I, I instantly cast Detect Magic without Ritual, and I reappear. Yeah, you... I just use my spell sword to cast Detect Magic. Yeah, you see Libra just flinch for a second as you reappear, and I believe you can see this... You cast Detect Magic on it, and... No, you don't detect any magic. No, it's a radius. So I don't detect any magic within 30 feet? No, just on Libero's person. Well, this is not the Libero who's being held by Hades. But so the one that's being held has no magic? No magic. Yeah, there is no... Yeah, no magical spells are happening. Like, no illusions. Yeah. Hmm. No okay. Well, well, well. The material plane is <laughs> fucked up these days, huh? <laughs> Fuck. I would agree. He seems uh. to be magicless. The one, the the non cloaked leader. Yeah, he needs to put him down. <laughs> he needs to stand up for this. And uh, so he just puts him down. I cuff him. Yeah. I pull out my cuff and cuff him. Yeah, you, you cuff him. How are you cuffing him to stop him from escaping? You're going to cuff like the other half to yourself or are you just cuffing both of his hands? I'll cuff his legs. Don't cuff him yet. You don't know <laughs> I'll cuff his is legs. just a misunderstanding. <laughs> let's no, I'll cuff his legs. Well, let, let's see. I'll ask... Um, huh? Yeah, yeah well, Libra just comes up and he's like, well, let's see here. And he just... Get, uh, gives them a close in, inspection and starts patting them down to see what they've got on them. I'll try to Scooby Doo pull up the mask at the fake Libra. No. That's he was behind the mask. I, damn it! Yeah, no mask. I heard a tail. I heard the bar tail called Scooby Doo that this stuff works. Apparently, it's fake. Damn it. So no magic, no mask. Who are, are you? the little Libra? Question. Cloak figure. Hmm? Is that are a, you know, you're the butterflies? Well, let's have a quiz, no. shall we? I think it would be easy enough to tell. How about you guys want to quiz both of us? Uh, On this thing? Take turns going. I'll, I'll I'll go towards the 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 cloak Libra and I'll whisper him. What's the location of your house? <laughs> uh, I don't tell. Oh wait, did you guys sign a contract for that? I'm under contract. Fine. <laughs> it's left and right, and you go past the guard's house, and it's the one which has got like the burnt uh, burnt roof, and uh, roof on it. That one. All right, mm. and I'll go over to the non cloak Libra. What's the location of your house? I'm under contract. Um, it's it's the one with the the main roof. Yeah, it's 
a fairly normal, standard looking house in my home. Kill him. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's a fake one. That is a fake one. Mm. Seems no. like we found our impo- no. Seems like we found our uh, imposter among us. No, right? fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a similar one, right? <laughs> no, we're not looking. It's like there's an imposter among us. <sighs> what should we do with him? Obviously, we need to find him. Well, let's, let's hate you still with him. <laughs> Do you know how to? Oh, I can make him scream. Let me do this, guys. For when I don't particularly trust no. you with interrogations. And he goes up to him and he's like, Oh, it's, come it's, on. It's weird seeing Liberua talk to Liberua, but he's like, So, changeling, huh? No. Oh. Hmm. And you see a changeling, and he picks the ugliest member. Yeah. Why is this specifically me? Um. Um. And you see him just complete this other Libra completely change in front of you to the human that Alaraf you saw earlier. What? Uh-huh. What have uh-huh. I done? Right. Um, you just happen to be there. I, I saw your face out of all of them. But don't make me go back there. Where? Back where? Bad things are happening. The people. Like what? I was at this market place in in my normal place my realm i i've stayed there quite a long time not many people like me there and then suddenly we we got a notice cease and desist and i wasn't sure what to do but they're coming. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I can't. I can't go back there. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go back. I hold this best and say back where? Home. And you can see where his is eyes home. Wide. And he just looks away. And Where is home? Home. And why? Home. 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 Why aren't you home. shocked home. that I can go to the Israel plane? Hey, I don't know where home is anymore. I came through a weird portal. Huh? Got it? It's the only way out. Only way out. Only way out. Only way out. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. What portal? One that just appeared. And where is this portal? It's gone, it's gone. Mm. He's not native. Can I now check? Okay. Yes. Can I check for magic now? Well, the tech magic is on, still no magic? Still no magic. He's not a knight from. I mean, mm. other realms doesn't necessarily mean that they're magical. So, can I see if like he's native to like you know this realm or others? Um, you could try figuring out roll, roll history at disadvantage. History. Yes. Oh, history. At disadvantage. Yo, they have a disadvantage anyway. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a shame. Second roll was good. Uh, Eleven. Yeah, you were just like, um, you're looking at him. And he's not got too much clothing on except for the moon outfit that he was wearing. He's trying to have as little on as possible, but he looks cold. 
I'll ask him, do you know anything about a citadel? A citadel? Yes, yes, home, home. Home's, yeah. home's bad at the moment. Not going back there. I just want Alas, to leave. Remember when I told you of, about a vision? Yes, the vision the involves same. a marketplace and a citadel. Yeah, I had the same dream. Not a vision, but yeah. a dream about those locations. You're, you're meaning... I'm glad you guys did. Oh? Take a swim in a damn pool. Maybe you'll get one yourself. You mean, you're meaning Javon? <laughs> the main market Jum. on... Am I home? Yes, I saw traces that I never seen before. And the citadel. Uh, yeah, there's they're fairly common around there in those parts. I haven't seen any of them here. Except for, you know, people like me. But you can't send me back there and he looks at Libra in particular. At it all of you instead of looking at anyone else. So just like continuing to watch. Libra, any ideas? Um, uh, I'll, no, I'll just no use clue. press the digitation to warm him up, try to make him uh, more comfortable. No, I think about a sentinel and a marketplace and Jer, what? What did he say? Jer's home? Um, huh? he said. The marketplace thing? Javon. It's Javon. Oh, oh. Um, I oh, anything about that? The bomb? Huh? What was that? No, anything about the bomb, Libra? Not really. A lift, a lift might know, but she's all the way back can kill yet. I guess I could send the Raven there, but it won't be back till the end of the festival. But what do, do you need your Raven here? Huh? Do you need your Raven here? Um, no, I, I, I can do without it. It, it, it's helpful, but I, I can do without it. And he brings the raven over, gives it a quick peck, and he's like, Cree, please tell a lift to send back news. And the raven kind of jumps back into the sky and flies off in the direction of Kiliad. So. Well, what do we do about this guy? Um, uh, well. Quite frankly, a lift would seems... rather them ca uh, them captured and to be put under trial. They've been causing quite a few issues around here recently, but I suspect that's the uh, the difference from where he comes from compared to our world. Wait, before that, why are you talking with Riri? I I talked to the fake lib in the channel. Why are you talking with Riri? Really? Yeah, you mean the no, and then dude? not long, the goblin. He was acting a bit odd when him? we saw him. So I decided to follow him. He was he was just talking some strange things to a, ra a raven. It made some weird excuse in my or, mouth. To so a raven? Is it your raven, Libra? No. I've had my uh, raven with me the whole time. Oh. He just likes to hang under the coat. Most of the time, or investigate other places. So well, really, is weird. There's a channeling, and people are getting visions now. That's strange. Well, I don't know what we can do with him. Him for now. Mm. We can lock him up, but where? Does this town have a jail? Some, or something like that? We don't have to lock Oh, them. I can like, deal with them. Okay. We can't exactly... Okay, I'll ask the changeling, like... No? Huh? We can't exactly let anyone uh, know about anything that's we're doing at the moment. Preferably, it would be best if we were to keep them away from the village. Leave that to me. No, 
kill you in Hades. I'd prefer him alive. I won't kill him, but think of it logically. Have any of you ever explored the mountains? No, but I, I know animals have. Because I grew up and in and these other areas. I know how to traverse. As stupid as it may seem, I've been traveling a long time. I know how to get my way around. And why do you want to go to the mountain with and the plus, Angeline? No, no offense, but look at your uh, physiques. You're not really the strong type. I can you travel on your brains. Sure, but I can travel to the ethereal realm and traverse to any terrain. And I assume you can t take this changeling with you? Well, I can threaten to burn him if he doesn't walk. <laughs> well. And did you see what I mean? Oh. I think I'm the best choice here. But what are you doing in the mountain exactly? What would that solve? We're in high altitude. Hey, yeah, you're pretty <laughs> fucking far up. Yes? Um, um take and make sure nobody sees you uh, with him. And um, with him. And Goodness. just take him, make uh, sure he gets water, uh, water every couple of days, and some food if you can. What? But don't let anyone else figure that out. So you should probably hit off now. What you is this? got it. What I'll, this? I'll make sure to keep him in a place where no one will find him. And get eaten by animals? Now. Hello? Now, if you don't mind, I shall take him and be on my merry way. What is this plan? You, for you forget, What the hell Biden? would the mountain saw? The barrier. What? What, does the mountain extend to the barrier? Is it that big? Well, it's... Is the barrier that big? I've never seen one this large. Anyway, we... There's more than one around here. At least we've found the first one. But... It's starting to get... More than one channel. Mm. Quite late. I think I should make a little cage. A changeling cage. <laughs> Alright. I shall be... On my way to have some construction, Hades says as he uh, stealthily walks off. Surprisingly stealthy for an eight foot big man. <laughs> yeah, and when you get there, like roll survival just to make the cage. Just to make a cage, okay. It's the most shameless cage you've ever seen. <laughs> ha! Ah! Oh. Yeah, you quickly grab out any of your tools, start fat, taking bark off some wood, and you make him a bit of a cage. It takes you a bit of time, and how how are you securing him inside the cage? And just a note, there is still a, a handcuff in his legs. I haven't taken that off of him. Yep. I mean, in the end, and... he still has a physique of a human, so there... There really isn't a need for any unconventional restraining. So. He's still a channel. Mm. In the end, he's just a changeling, yeah. How, like, can... how strong is my cage? Fairly sturdy? Um, <laughs> Many hits yeah, with it, but it's too good on. For the materials you have been using. Uh, how tall are the trees again? Quite, uh, quite tall. Oh. Good. Seriously? I'm going to suspend the cage. <laughs> so even if he escapes, he's going to take some fall damage. Oh, I knew it. And so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> first roll acrobatics to get up the tree at disadvantage since you're carrying the cage. Then dexterity to actually. Well, then, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I, I don't know all the disadvantage. Already know. <laughs> Yeah, you, you start bringing it up the tree and you're just slipping and you're just like trying to drag it up with you, but you can't bring it up. It's a bit too bulky. Maybe you should have assembled it in the tree. You might have had more luck there. Ah, wait, no, better idea. I shall, I shall tie the rope onto the cage because I do have rope. 
in my inventory. I shall throw it up and tangle it onto a branch, where I shall pull. Yeah, you start pulling on it. You bring the cage up. You put. You've, he's already in the cage. Yep, I already threw him in, in my cage. Yeah, uh, roll strength, please. Now this I can do. Ha! And yeah, you're just you're just pulling this changeling into a tree and dexterity to try the rope on the ground. So it doesn't fall. I shall stab a quarter staff into the ground, get it real deep, and then tie the rope around that. See if it holds up. Okay, roll dexterity. Come on, don't fail me. And, yeah, it's not too hard and? to, like, pin a piece of rope or, like, tie it up. And you just kind of see it slipping and you've got to kind of re-grab it and attempt to tie it again. A bit more sturdy this time and just keep it in place. And, yeah, it takes you a lot longer than you thought it would. And now you just, you're free to head back. And the changeling is busy dangling in the tree. And he, he's looking down at you like, what on earth have I gotten myself into? Hey, hey are, you, are you sure this is safe? What? What are you scared of? A few birds? Just, just a bit. I've never seen these weird, weird things that fly before. The only ones that fly are dangerous. You don't want to come across them. Oh, don't worry. If they call you some trouble, just punch them. That's what I do. Um, you They're bound to leave you alone. And plus, save my, uh... Construction fails and you fall, now you're free to go. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's a win win. Now, Turalu, he says as he walks off, <laughs> not caring about the changeling's opinions. <laughs> yeah, and you, you hear the changeling yelling at you and like, let me down, please, please, let me down. And you just hear it fade off into the distance as you continue to walk back down to the village. And I don't know, Larif, what are you two doing? Well, believe it or not. What's happening? You two yeah. are where you were before. And Hades has gone off. Yeah. Uh, even though Libra, you should have kept the changing for bit more interrogation. Maybe uh, giving it to him. This is probably not the best idea. Well, he seems all. I don't think he'll be revealing anything anytime soon. Mm. Mm, we weren't going to get too much more out of him anyway. But anyway, Riri is also a bit weird. Yeah, what's up with that? Wait, Libra, did you follow Riri to the barrier or is that the, the other Libra. So, a Libra is followed into the barrier. Um, I, I wa uh, walked up. Uh, I just walked off after that conversation, just contemplating a few things. It was quite strange. He was talking to a raven. I did not know he had a raven. Did any of you know that? Neither do I. Nope. Um, well, he did say he met some sort of a being under the pool, under the magical pool. And he got this necklace, and I show him the necklace. Oh, now that, that is odd. And he just takes the necklace and, and speaks it. Huh. You got identified by any chance? Hmm. I've mentioned something like that. Or do you have a hundred gold pearl? Alas can cast identify. Yeah, uh, I'll need some more components for 
Wait, no. Wait, I can just cast that as a ritual. I just do I have the components? You need a hundred gold. Yeah. I don't think you mm. have the components for this. But I think I just barely recognize this. It reminds me of oh. sort of like a seer item. It's it shows you who's in tune with like a specific god if I know correctly, but it's always a chance that some artificer has added its their own enchantments to it. But it's likely looking at the symbol that this shows anyone who is from the particular faith. So it's likely this shows anyone who's from Salune's faith or someone. It's a holy oh, symbol. Okay. Mm, yeah. So it's an attunement. So it's a a cleric's. What is it called? A cleric's arcane focus, some sort. Um, I would <laughs> say it's some. It possibly could be some sort of arcane focus, but I'm not particularly sure. But hmm, there must be some sort of act activates and conditions and you see him just kind of messing with it is and he just kind of puts it on and starts messing with it mm, ah, maybe there's some sort of keyword um anyone want to try touch it and try um maybe vision salune moon half moon i'll try to crack up my brain to see if there's any special salune Type words. Can we make like a religion check to see that? Yeah, go ahead. And I'll cast guidance too. Let me see if I can wrap my brain and see any salumi. Uh, 20. Um, there's several things you could probably do, but Lady of Silver or She Who Guides could be in a different type go for Salune. So I'll I'll say that Lady of Silver, she who guides. And yeah, you see this thing start glowing, and Leroy just like takes a bit of a jolt back, and he looks at you specifically, Aiden, and he's like, "Hmm, turns out I was right." And he takes it off and passes it over to you, and you see the magic rich uh, quickly fade once he takes it off. I I take it on. I put it back on. I say. Lady of Silver, he she who guides, grant me strength. Um, you don't really see anyone with anything notable on. Like, hmm, maybe you should try using it where there's some people who are actually followers of Salune. Well, I am a follower of Salune. Should I do it in a group or something? Maybe you can't see yourself. I could see you. Clearly. Maybe maybe try one of the priests. It's probably one or two away. Okay. Let's go find a priest. Roll investigation, please. Now what of it? Oh god. <laughs> um I'll cast what is it called? Oh yeah, guidance for myself. Okay. With guidance, that's a fifty. Yeah, you start wandering around, and Lara, are you walking off with him? Yep. Yeah, you guys all, as a group, start looking around. It takes you quite a while, because pretty much no one's awake, but there does seem to be a couple people slowly waking up as the sun continues to drop as the evening passes, and you eventually come across this... This sort of strange priest, they're standing around and they're just kind of... Uh, I'm so tired. I clash the magic, the holy symbol, and say, Lady of Silver, she who guides. I just say that. And you see this sort of aura around the person, and it's glowing white. Above, like, their very core, or what you would expect would be where their core is. And it glows a brilliant white. 
Hey, have you just been glowing recently? Huh? You talking to me? Do you notice anything strange, yes? Strange? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I did see a strange portal earlier. Where did you see that? Yeah, I, I, I thought I dreamed it. It was there, then it was gone. I looked through it, and I saw this massive... What do you call it? Is it L? Army. There was uh, just like a bunch of people, all walking, all wearing armor. The guy was all orange, it was a burning place. I only saw it for like a couple of seconds. I'm pretty sure I was dreaming. I'm half asleep, as you can probably tell. Didn't get a good sleep this morning. Seems more than one people have been getting a good sleep this morning. And I, I, look, I look over to Alaris. Hmm? Yeah. I, I Seems more than one people hasn't been getting good sleep. Mm -hmm. I thought I was seeing Seems things. So. You haven't been seeing things, have you? Well, Think this one. guy did. And I point to Alaris. It seems to a nightmare of some sort. Nightmares? No, it's... I told you. I told you, right? I had the same sort of vision you had, but only in my dreams. And, well, I'm not exactly unscathed after the whole process. Well, I see a Citadel and a marketplace filled with strange strangers. Mm. So do I. I, I. I just saw, like, this... Tabaxi last night, I kept an eye on them. Then they're acting just a bit strange. Like, they would greet everyone by giving them sort of like this elbow sort of handshake. It was strange. Didn't kind of new to the religion. Yeah, just, just a bit odd. They had a cat with them. The cat was a bit odd. But we've got plenty of wizards around here, so I don't really mind familiars being about and then I just went to sleep at this crazy dream oh. was there a tabaxi somewhere along those lines there tabaxi um, yeah that's that's what I mean I just saw this tabaxi with a cat it's a bit strange hmm. <sighs> knew there was something wrong with that Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Thank you for your time, please. Um, you're, you're welcome. The, the feast is about to start in a couple minutes, so we should probably all start heading up there. Very well, I have some things to talk to with my companions, please. Okay, I'll see you up there. I hope you guys are excited for the big feast today. Indeed. Oh. May Solunia's blessing be with you. What was that? Sorry? May Solunia's blessing be with you. I said it to the priest. Yeah, and I... let him walk. Yeah, and he just walks off, starting to head in the direction that he was going to head in, basically up towards where the pool is. So, the back seat with a cat. Know anything about this letter? About what? About the back seat with a cat? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was just another tabaxi, but uh, I guess. Remember the demon cat we had? No, not no, not exactly demon, but there was something wrong with the cat that the tabaxi had when I met it, him, her. I don't, I'm not exactly sure back in the temple. The cat we saw when, yeah. we, when we first met? It was similar, yes, but not exactly. The one that has the ability to scatter anyone that it sees, apparently? Yes, exactly the same. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Libra. Apparently, there's a cat that has the ability to scare anyone who doesn't have a strong will in here, also. And 
apparently gives people dreams or something like that. You mean the ones that were terrifying Dinva? Yes, the one that has something involved with your boss's sister, boss's brother. Mm. I wonder well, the strangest about the cat is, once the cat leaves, your boss's brother starts summoning the Hydra that killed him. Mm. I wonder if these things are connected. Probably is. Definitely not a normal cat. Yes. Yeah. Well, seems like wherever the cat has been, the disaster falls. Hmm. Could just be coincidence, but unlikely. We should heat up now. They're about to start, and it would be unsavory for us not to be seen there. Oh, and by the way, I spoke the magical word. I saw the man, the beast is glowing. Yeah, I, I think all the people who are wearing the moon cloaks have some sort of connection to Saluna. Apparently this necklace can tell that connection. Hmm, yeah. So who do we know so far? All the people who are just wearing moon cloaks. cloaks. And I assume that no one who's not wearing a moon cloak is not a follower of Saluna. Glowing. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Well, no, not everyone who wears the cloak means they have connection. Some, some could, uh, some could be just low-level clerics that does not hold any particular connection to her, to the goddess. No, I, th I think it's, I think it's likely. I, it was quite a well, while ago. Well, I think I remember. A before we all arrive. Before we all arrived, they didn't give clothes to whoever seemingly have connection with Lumi. Maybe they have enough for magic items. Give us these clothes. The one you got and you have. But that could be like. They didn't give me this cloak. Hmm. And there is no way of them knowing that I'm always Lumi. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe they had some sort of similar trinket. Indeed. To detect followers of Sulune. Mm. Do you know anything of this? Does uh, Aless mention any of this? I did not really know too much about that. It did mm. seem a little bit strange, but I do remember them handing them out like a year, uh, year a couple years ago. It's foggy. It was quite a while since I last went to this, but we should heat up and. Take, get something to eat. I'm quite hungry at the moment. All right. But he starts walking up the stairs, and in front of you, you see a bunch a gathering of all the people who are here for the festival as they all sit down on the different rocks. There's a couple people who are now in groups at the rocks. And where are you guys sitting? As Hades, you start walking back through the trees and you see everyone starting to gather at the pool. Guess I shall join the gathering. Yeah. Any particular I'm stone you guys going to sit down on? Do I have a preference? Okay. You just sit on one that's unoccupied. I'll sit on the one that has the best view of everyone. Yeah, there's... Um, there's I can one, see everyone through that zone. There's one sort of to the right where you... Where it sort of has this... Sort of like... Part of the rock goes up where you can sit. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but you see a lot more people. That's the way. I'll but sit there. Any place you're going to sit? I'll stay in the back. Somewhere inconspicuous. Yeah, you can you can join a group of three who are just uh, just kind of waving you over because they've got a spare spot on their rock. And yeah, it would be feeling. Sorry? They've got a spare spot on their rock, so they're just waving you over to come join. 
Who is wiping over? Just some ran- uh, random. Some of them are wearing cloaks, some aren't. They're just all kind of chilling on the rock. They just have a spare spot, and the area is starting to fill up now. Uh, all right. Oh, sure. I'll just, I'll take it. Hello. I quite like meeting nice new faces. Nice to meet you. And he holds out his hand. And this is a small halfling mm. this time. I just uh, lean down with it and uh, take it, I guess. Well, certainly it seems very lively nowadays here. Great event. Yeah. We're just about to have our meal, and this is our second day, so we we mostly spend time just chatting to new people, talking about things on the second day, listening to some entertainment whilst eating some food. Food gets quite lovely here at some points in time, but yeah, we, we should get ready. There's probably going to be an announcement soon. And Libra, he takes right. a free spot over to the side. Why? Um, there just tends to be more of an announcement of food and the prayer. Just general things. And as you guys are talking, he's like, shh, we should probably be quiet. And you guys see the head priest start walking up this high elf back on here. And he's like, we pray to the moonlight on the second day of our beloved festival. Bright, clear skies guide us endlessly through the night. And you see a couple people starting to walk around the edge all in a row. And you see this massive stone rise out as this beam of moonlight shoot down from the moon onto the sort of surface of the water and you see this massive sort of rock um, um, rock come up there and it kind of merges into smaller pieces and splits in part and these people carrying trays come out onto the rock which has been strangely left unoccupied at the opposite side of the pool to the priest near the stairs and you see these sort of people carrying dishes up and placing them on each stone. And the stones move round as they keep coming up until all the stones are filled. And you sit in front of them. First, we pray to our god Salune for this brilliant feast. And he kneels down and starts praying with his head bowed. And everyone else starts to do the same. As everyone does that, I clutch my necklace, the holy one, and say Shibu guy. And I and I look to see if there's anyone that's not glowing. There's a couple of people not glowing. They're probably just uh, just here because they want to learn about it. But this is slowly beginning to faintly glow. Liberua, surprisingly, is not one who is glowing. But so anyone who's not glowing. Anyone who's wearing one of the moon outfits is glowing. Is there anyone who's not wearing the moon outfit that's glowing also? No, as far as you can tell. No, no one. Yay, I'm glowing. Yeah, Hades is glowing. <laughs> He's glowing white. And how many people does... I'm glowing, not glowing, glowing the life. <laughs> how many people does that glowing? Um... Anyone who's not glowing, you've got the rest of your Roughly, your, yeah. your party, so that would be Bai's come to join you, so is Riri, and you've got Olaraf, you've got Libra, so that's four. And then there's probably, there's a couple on the other side, so there's three on that side, and probably around 14 to 20 people out of this massive gathering mm. who... Do uh, not have the glow. There's a couple of smaller glows, but mostly the head price and is, those full moons have the brightest glow. Is there anyone who's not glowing that's 
sticking together, like in a group, closely together. Yeah, there is. There is a dwarf with these stony eyes. He's got a flute by his side. And he's Wait a fucking minute. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hades, with no hesitation, stands up, points at the dwarf, and say, That's you, you bastard! And runs over. <laughs> and yeah, the dwarf, the dwarf looks at you, and then just kind of whispers to the tabaxi next to him, and the tabaxi nods, and he just, he just, he starts sprinting out as everyone's just kind of praying. And he's, he's off like a rocket into the tree. No! No! Fuck you! Get back here! I continue chasing the little fucker. <laughs> Roll stealth! You got it. Glorious <laughs> rain stealth, that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> if it's above a 10, I'll be impressed. Hey! <laughs> While he's rolling stealth. Who else? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and you're, you're running past and you see the head priest look at you and give you the meanest glare you have ever in your <laughs> life seen. And I he- turn to him and say, fuck off me, this is my fight. And I still continue. I am hunting my dwarf down, even if it's for death of me. And, yeah, you see him grab out this strange-looking item. And you, oh, no. you see this circular portal, it's nothing like the Aether ones you've seen before, appear in front of you, and as you're running forward, roll, roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, God. We're gonna get sent to hell. <laughs> I count on it. Come on, place it all low. Come on, man. No, no. Do the funny. What happens, DM? What do you know? I got a 10. Oh, And <laughs> you're running forward and you're too busy chasing out after this small little dwarf before you ent- you literally trip and go right through this portal. And you end up just kind of stuck in this strange room. It's covered with all sort of incense and calming devices. You got, you got put in detention. Ha! Fuck you! You won't get... Before I can finish this sentence, he collapses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Iden, Alara, what are you two doing? So who else do I spot that's not glowing, that's in a group, before he just um, walks off in chase of the dwarf? There's two who are on the opposite side, just sort of chatting together. Um, my another halfling, and you also see a Laraf over there with a human as well. And those three are just busy chatting to each other. Nothing much is going on there. There's a satyr next to that group on a different stone who's... Just not glowing Satya. at all. Yeah, Satya. But the one that's in a group is a is the dwarf, the halfling, human, and Satya. The the main the main group which has no people who are glowing whatsoever would be the Tabaxi and the dwarf who has just run off. Okay. And yeah, he, the yeah. high priest gets off his perch and he's like, like, now you may feast. And he raises his hands and everyone starts chatting all at once. And the sort of stones slowly move around and people sit on their rocks grabbing out a few things. There's some really beautiful looking soups in there with crescent moons cut out of the vegetables. And a whole variety of different, like, items, sandwiches, like, even even desserts there. And 
they just go around in sort of a circular motion. There's sort of like this croissant with like this cre this cheesy filling in the inside and a bunch of other veggies. There's stuff for everyone. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. <laughs> You're in detention. Yeah. I'm in the time out. He is. <laughs> yeah, you you sit in the corner right now. I've been, I've been, been in, the room. in the corner. You've been learning too loud. <laughs> but yeah. The high priestess teacher is mad. And is there any specific foods everyone is going for before I end the session? Wait, before that, is there anyone glow that's glowing brighter than the high priest? Um, there's probably one or two other people, but they look to be fairly dedicated as well. They also seem to be fairly high up. They're wearing quite nearly full moons, but missing like a sliver or two. Mm. All right then. I'll be eating anything that's not a vegetable. <laughs> yeah, you can find like plenty of like sandwiches. There's even like small bits of meat in there, which you can dip in this really beautiful sort of teriyaki and mayo sauce. And yeah, there's there's so many other different things. Like you can get dessert as well. Oh, Araf, anything in particular you are going for? Hmm. Anything that's like exotic. Yeah, you you can grab out one of the moon croissants and it's got sort of like this sweet flavour to it. And there seems to be some sort of sweet chili chicken in the inside and it, it's quite nice. Honestly. You probably could eat more. Song. But yeah, this the stone's continuing to float <laughs> round and you're just picking out different foods to try. Hades, anything you're right. going for? Oh, wait. You're in detention. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no food. Unless you forgot. Yeah, I'm passed out in the detention room. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> I'm now unconscious in a timeout square. <laughs> okay. So, that marks the end of the session. Favourite moment, item? Uh, but let me think. Mm, probably uh, the vision, I guess. The vision I had in the pool. Yeah, Alaraf, what was your favorite moment? The impasse. Uh, the impasse the among us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. Wow. Yeah, the, the whole identity confusion changed on fire. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so fair. Come on, just say imposter, man. Nah, man, that's cringe. <laughs> Hell, hey, cringe. Hades, what was your favorite moment? Overall, you have to appreciate our fucking throws. <laughs> How many times have you got under 10? So many times. Of the time? <laughs> you guys got so low ro rolls today. Yeah, what's with our luck today? I think I'll roll pretty well. I think I get one roll. And yeah, I'm going to end this 